And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast, C and Joel. Just Joel. Your AK Blade Show is here with those new knives you've been waiting all week for. So this week we'll be featuring new carries from... Oh, it's my turn. Yes. Max Ace. Sock. Best Nelly. Giant Tops. Mouse. And Hope it. There you go. Yep. We know you're ready for the sharp fun. Yep, and we know we're really ready. So let's get down let's to business. Let's do it. So we're gonna start with the Max Ace Raccoon Dog mm -hmm. first. Available right now in three different options. Two in stock, here we go. So this folder is 8.26 inch when fully opened and showcases a 3.54 inch stone wash finished. Plain edge, 0.15 thickness. Now, the Rocky and Plain Gray one handle has a CPM S90V blade. So that's this one. While the one with cutouts, I think it's black. Which is coming in, I think. Has a RWL34 steel blade. See, you, you got to get both. Unbelievable. You got to get both. So each frame lock has TC4 titanium handles and tip-up titanium pocket clip, as well as backspacer. Blade is opened with the jimped first try front flipper and, of course, is disengaged with the frame lock. Come to the pouch, cleaning cloth, and start at at just one fifty one from Atlantaknife.com. So this one and the Rocky handle one, I think. I think the RWL one's a little more like one. No, I think the RWL one's one fifty one too, isn't it? I don't think so. I think so because I think I'm, I have that one. Then don't which we? one is? The it's the one we haven't gotten one. yet. But it's, it's something I don't know what it I is. I can't remember what it. All right. uh, maybe I'm messing <clears> them up. I can be messing them up. All right, so here's what I think. Yeah. I think we need to start like a little bank here uh -huh. and call it Knife Club. Like people that are a little older will remember Christmas Club. You put in twenty, forty, fifty, a hundred dollars a week, and then we'll give you the money back. And you can then purchase knives. That way, when a week like this shows up and there's all these discounts available, and there's this, and there's this other one, and then there's this one, and that one, and you need nine hundred bucks. Christmas Club. Yeah, a Christmas club. Man, I tell you, when I was a kid, Christmas club was a thing. All right. So this knife, I'm not as fond of the um, of the shiny silver normally, but I gotta tell you, I really like this one. Um, I like the other one also. I like the rock handle one. That looks I'm cool. really intrigued by the uh, R W. Yes, the, we we've seen that before on. Um, oh man, I'm not gonna say what knife companies. I can't remember who used it. You guys know. Um, I don't want to have somebody email me and say, why do you hate us? Yeah. Stop hating us. That's all we do is hate. That's what I do. Hate knife brands. That's why we have a knife show and work at a knife company because we hate knives. All right. So I think in this Wait, raccoon dog, dog. <laughs> that's great. Interesting options. Again, an... but the fit and finish of the design is good. It's a sturdy lockup, a sharp blade. Okay. Now I am also interested in the RW34 steel because I've read about it and it's pretty nice steel. I mean, very high in strength and toughness, extreme edge sharpness, so it's pretty easy to maintain too. It's a stainless steel and with the heat treatment it can be very, very hard, strong steel. Also corrosion resistant. So not bad for the prices, although I don't know how well it's going to go over because RWL34 isn't well known by the general public. Okay? I think we just have to Oh, knife people see. know it. Yeah, I... knife people know it. Yeah, but... Yeah. Plus, they had the Goliath come out. Is Max Ace really? For That's the another two hundred bucks you need. I mean, it's like crazy. Oh yeah, the new. Oh, we'll no. be featuring that next week. We didn't do it last week. No, we didn't. Do oh, last week. We didn't sorry. Have, <laughs> all right. For we sold them all. So, all right. So, aside from this. All right, we're going like to the it. next knife then. Okay. Next knife on the table: Tops Mini Scanny Folder. Oh. Get your checkbook out because you get your debit card or whatever it is. Get your checkbook out. Get I'm your telling you, ready it's one of those weeks. This was designed by Topps Lorenzo Espinoza and made by Mazarin. Mm -hmm. Has been part of the Topps lineup for a while. Scandi has been there for a long time. The, mm -hmm. uh, however, because of its continued popularity, they decided to do another option. Yep. So 
Now this liner lock, though, has a same handle look, features G10 handle scales instead of micarta, and sports a Super Steel L Max blade. That's opened with back flipper tab. Look at there. Uh -huh. So it's 7.5 inches overall with a 3.25 inch clip point blade that is 0 0.13 inches thick, has plain edge, jimping, look at that jimping. Mm -hmm. High flat grind instead of the, the Scandi grind that they did on the previous version. And a satin finish. I'm sorry, I didn't clean it off first. So it's yep. Working. All right. You can get it in black G10 or OD green G10. Uh -huh. yeah. Pivot screw has also been spiced up like a meatball. Yeah. Tip up reverse my pocket clip is now deep carry. Mm -hmm. Weighing just 3.8 ounce. Yeah. This folder, this is going to tell you the price, is only. 148.85. See, right now we're down at about 750. Landlife.com. I mean, you know. Whew. You, can, you know how it is. You have to save up. So, or put it on. It's hard because it was last week. That's true. It you was get a job, week. pays me 2800 a week. And then get something I just need a job that hands me money and I don't have to do anything. <laughs> Jeez. So I like this knife. It's about time Tops dabbled in the high end part of the steel spectrum. And thanks to Mazarin, they were able to do so. That does mean that the knife won't be made in the U.S. But you can't deny that Mazarin and other like Italian companies make quality. Mazarin makes quality. I like the ghost and stuff that they did. Mm. So solid folder from them. Opens well. Cuts well. I <clears> get one. What do you think? Same thing. I mean, it is a nice folder. The price of it, it just amazes me for them. I mean, wow, I, that's a low price. I expected it to be more. It fits my hands I did expect so it to be more, nicely. too. Just want to take it home. I've already taken home a Wee Ziffius and a ZT. And good gosh. Somebody's going to get me in trouble. Good golly, Miss But I think I, I'm going to find a way to get this one. You know, we need super layaway. It's like super pay layaway? Me, pay a dollar a week. I and in 365 night. months. 65 months? <laughs> yeah. You can have these four knives. It's great. I get one of these. All right. Don't pass it up. Go ahead. Following the tops. Yeah. Is yeah. the SOG. Do I have to? Ether. Ether FX. Yes. All right. Only one option, of course. Fixed blade carrier 7.13 inch overall with 3.15 inch CPM S35VN. Look at that. High quality steel. Drop point blade, full spine jipping, stone wash finish. Straight, plain edge. Removable handle scales. Yeah. They're blaze orange. Can't beat that. And allow for an easy, lightweight, skeletonized carry as well as a quick cleaning. There's a lanyard hole too. Though it also comes with a Kydex sheath. Hold on, there we go. Which is universal mounting system compatible oh, and yeah. weighs only 2.1. There you go. Ounces. Sign yourself up for the Saw Ether FX. Just from the 99 from AtlantaKnife.com. Say it real quickly. They won't realize that? what you said. 159.99. And there's the ding again. Yeah. All right. You can go first. All right. Well, I mean, you know, what what can't you say about this knife? It has a nice blade on it. it has it has a good firm grip. It has tremendous. Tremendous. People jimping. like jimping, but I like jimping. I like jimping. Doesn't have a usable choil. What that. do we want? <laughs> That's great. Other than that, usable choil. I think it's a nice hunting knife. It's, when do we it's want pretty it? high quality. I mean, now take it out in the woods and lose it. You're all set. Oh wow! So I think the color's popping. So you definitely will find Pop it. Popping. I like that. Find it in the woods if you drop it or something like, like that. Like it's hot. Yeah. I'm not sure what the dimples are for. I read from SOG that they were supposed to give you some grip, but I don't think it's much gripping. Mm. And then I looked it up later and it said that the dimples help uh, prepping food easier because they don't as stick. That's what I thought they, they were They don't stick for. to the blade as much. So make pr food prep grow smoother, you know. For a nice all around life, life. Life is hard enough, so your food prep should not be difficult. Now, man, when you're slicing that cucumber in the wild, exactly. you don't want that thing sticking to your blade. No, no cuke sticking to this. Come no. on. So I have seen, of course, the skeleton design designed before, like last week. Although I do like being able to personalize skeletonized handles and blades. I think it's sort of the man censored me. Unkind. You know it's funny to offer this type of knife at that price. I like personalizing skeleton knives because you too. can do the paracord handle on the lanyard. Oh, and all I thought that. you meant I like to personally give them to other people. Oh, well, I'm not a big paracord. Yeah. The steel is quality though, and the full spine jimping is just so nice. I love that part. It seems like the little brother of the SOG Provider FX. Oh did. yeah. Knife, knife, just not for me. All right, don't go nowhere. We have tons more knives coming up from Hoback, Giant Mouse, Real Steel, plus more. No Real Steel. There's no Real Steel. I cut the Real Steel. Table.
Sorry, Bastianelli. Wow. Oh, Bastianelli. Yeah. Nice. And more. But like always, we need you to hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. Real Steals next week. As well as ring that bell. Not only will you have access to AK's latest content, but you'll be notified when new stuff drops and be automatically entered into giveaways. So this July is for Joker's giveaway has reached its end. Wah, wah, wah. Oh, no. Thanks to all you guys who commented and became official AK members. Yep, we have no jobs without you. Mm -hmm. Literally. Mm -hmm. So, like the Highlander, there can only be one. So the winner of their very own Joker Rizzo with dual sheath, there's another one in there, Fire Steel, Striker, Paracord, and AK merch stickers is... Bill Shelley. He gets the knife yeah. and the good leads. Yeah. Congratulations, man. Make sure to email salesonlineup.com to claim your prize. So we'll be starting a new giveaway next week. Make sure to catch that episode to enter. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You're just going to have to wait, watch, and find out. All right. Yeah. We're also going to uh, give the dish on some AK deals real just quick. You can show them. Dish the, it up. Got some ZTs you marked down. Yay. This is the 0762. Everybody's seen it before. It's marked down. Uh, it's down to about 200 bucks. We've marked down the 0707 and... Another one, which I cannot remember which one it was. Uh, Isn't that see. terrible? You'll just have to go to our website and find out. That's great. Might have been a 470. I can't remember. Yeah, and of course, we still got the discontinued Wii and Civivis. We got some new ones on there. Oh, yeah. We got What's stuff marked down this week. Uh, Mini Asticus, Lazar, Sand uh, Sand Dogma, Sand... Is it is Sandbar? Sandbar? Yeah. Mini Sandbar? Yeah. Mini Sandbar. Okay, Mini Sandbar. Anthropus, McKenna. What's um, the, the P one? Trailblazer. Pequeno. Pequeno. I'll small, cheat real quick and look on this list. Oh, you yeah, got cheat sheet. Pick a row. Pick a row. Yep. That's nice. And the other one was the 470. Yep, and so. then we're going to do discontinued models of Steel Wheel and Real Steel. And some more drifters. And some yeah. more drifters. Oh, I'm going to put that on there also. Exactly. Yep. Can't beat that. You want to show them the prototype oh, we have? Oh, yeah. So, uh, C mentioned last week that we were going to show uh, some knives from brands you've never heard of. He was 100% sure you would never heard of it. So, this is from our hood. Coburn Tool people have made us uh, a prototype of their new knife coming out, the Clinch. So it's going to have, what steel is it going to have? M390. M390 and Micarta scales. It's going to be a liner lock, of course. And I think there's one other option that it's going to be in uh, green Micarta. So mm -hmm. this is nice. They got a lot of stuff coming out. Yeah, I think this prototype They're friends of ours, so. is mine. Friends of yours, friends of mine. And give me a beaner. I put $100 in a card. A dollar in one card. Yeah. A dollar Johnny Brasco. All right, that's okay. If I had say two hundred dollars in this hand, one, two, they're real crisp. Right. So you're just gonna have to wait and see those when they come out in. This is a couple week, a week or two, probably two weeks. Soon ish. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and like that, it's back to the table with the Hoback Tactical Toucan. That sounds interesting. See, take it away. All right, two options, stone and titanium. We have the stone option here. So this tactical Tucon has a 2.7 inch karambit folding blade made of CPM 20 CV steel with a stone wash finish. However, this knife can be turned into a hawkbill blade. Joel's gonna show you this real quick. I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> I am not taking it apart. Anymore. I knew you were. By removing the finger ring on the end, with the tool provided. I think you just take this. And you don't have to take the whole thing apart either. No, you don't. I think you just, this One part. One screw. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's off. So the blade's open with either, whoop, just tried to liner lock it. Sorry. Go ahead. Open Maybe. with either the. Uh, thumb hole? No? Is it the. Adjustable thumb this type of thing. Thumb Is that stud. what you want to call it? It's a thumb triangle. We haven't named it yet, have we? Adjustable thumb stud, we'll call it. Or button lock. Yes. Yeah, so There's yeah. also a glass breaker on the edge right of here. the ring. Okay, you can't breaker. beat that. You gotta love a knife with dual purpose. You should also have cup holders. Handle scales on this model has the hard anodized aluminum in like the light blue color, while the titanium option has. Yeah, you guessed it, G10. Just kidding, I know. That's It has titanium handle. Finally, this folding karambit has a reversible tip up pocket clip. Camera girl, last review. Has a tip up, reversible pocket clip, box, and. Yeah. Oh, I was going to toss the toucan right out there. He's trying to make it fly. Give him a heads up on the toucan. Patch. There you go. Yeah. Of what only one can assume is a tactical toucan holding a tactical toucan. Yeah, that kind of person. You right can there. get this hoe back starting at 258 
85 from AdelineKnife.com. Now that's more reasonable. I'm, I'm digging the hoe back here. Yeah. You know who make the best knife ever? If you could ever find a dual purpose knife that cuts and makes money, whoo! That'd be nice, right? I would keep that for myself because I would, it would, I would money. buy two. <laughs> so, uh, honestly, I really appreciate the details that went into making this knife. It's got a glass breaker, movable ring, adjustable thumb stud, button lock, patch. It's all pieces I've kind of seen before, but on separate knives. And now it's like they've been united together into one cohesive design. All me, I know. So I love the color and the look and the idea. Everything is amazing. Oh gosh, here it comes. We all know it. But and here it is. I I think there's just one minor design issue Jake from State Farm did not realize. What was it? So if you have for some reason your fingers here, oh. you have a, a fat finger inside the ring and you want to close the knife you can feel the very sharp tip of the knife blade as it passes okay, I'll tell by. You what, I'll cut you some slack on this one. That's all, that's, that's that's all I'm going to say. Yeah. Just just don't have really fat fingers in here while you're closing it. I feel like you're not going to anyway. Well, what happens if you take the, the, thumb, the ring off? The ring off? Mm hmm. What happens if you take the ring off? Mm hmm. Well, then your hand's still not going to be in the way of the blade. Okay. No problem. The blade's going to be right there. There it is. So we'll let her. Uh, let him. No, we'll let you. We'll let you. Oh, you let that. me yeah. go. Okay. That's a legitimate complaint. Thank you. Oh my gosh, so rare do I get that. That's a legitimate. Don't complaint. need a safe room for that. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm gonna say though. Everything right. else about this, love it. Especially, what would you call that? A tactical toucan holding a tactical, tactical toucan. toucan. Double toucan. Yeah, it's but is that something toucan, like it's man. not irony, but something like that? Okay. I'm just moving on and babbling. All right, we have the new Giant Mouse Iona V2, which dropped last Friday. Mm hmm Wish we'd known that was Friday. Um, on the table this week, two different options to pick from. Go ahead, see. Black linen and green micarta. Yay! So this liner lock is 4.125 inches closed and sports a 2.875 inch CPM Manicut steel drop point blade with flat grind, plain edge, and minor spine jimping. So the two different options have either the green canvas micarta handle scales or the black linen micarta. Blade is opened with the dual sided thumb studs. Mm -hmm. There's also a tip up reversible wired pocket clip and there's even a stainless pocket clip in there as well. The black linen option has a satin blade but both knives come with two different pocket clips. Seven inches overall designed by Jen Ansos and Jesper Voxnes. Mm -hmm. Just $1.95 from laylife.com. Yep. Give us your thoughts. My thoughts here. I think the steel on this is top notch. Oh, I get one. Cuts really well. I'm not like in love with the curved handle, but that's just my personal preference. There's nothing wrong. It fits nicely. I'm just not super fond of it. Uh, other than that, pretty good. I mean, it's not my favorite giant mouse. I think my favorite giant mouse is probably going to be the Rio. Oh, wow. I like that jimping. I like the Rio a lot with that blue denim that's different than anything else. I like the pointed blade on that one. What do you think? Well, I mean, I like it a lot. I think it's very nice. I think that there's only three left. <laughs> That's, That's the true. first problem. I really like the jimping. I've never really uh, held it like this before, but that is nice. I think it'll work out nice. really well. Good size bag. blade. Looks like it'd be nice to uh, use for cutting. Very clean styling. Nice work, I like that yes, one too. And yep. gents. As always. Wraith's left out again. Come on. All right. So, oh my goodness. Yep. Are you serious? Mm hmm No way. Yep. Go, go, go. With that, it's our final knife. Yeah. It's the best Janelli Primal. Two oh. options, stone wash and black PVD. So it has 2.48 inch curved bowler in 690 blade with black PVD finished, plain edge, and spine jumping for extra precision. Handle scales are black Camus Micarta with lanyard hole and various handle jumping throughout. So for different hold configurations to give you a little extra grip when you're using it, you know, reverse mm -hmm. carry, all that stuff. Comes with a black and red Kydex sheath, which I think is very interesting. I don't think they've ever done that before. They might have, but I don't remember. I think it's kind of neat. As well as a DCC clip. Don't ask me what DCC stands for, because I don't know. You really don't know? I really don't know. I don't either. Made in Italy! This 3.45 ounce carry is only nice. 260. Wow, well, we got some nice prices this week from AdelineKnife.com. All right, so what can I say that most of you don't already know? Let's see. I don't know. Bastianelli makes quality knives, but they're always a little up there in price. Mm -hmm. And then uh, 
they do know how to make a good karambit. They have been making karambits a long time. So it's not a new design because they do karambits all the time, but I do like it. I like the colored sheath. It's something different. And I like how thin it is. I mean, you can't tell that it's thin when you're holding it like this. It feels like a big knife, but then you're like, wow, mm -hmm. that's pretty thin for a karambit knife like this. The one thing about their karambits is they are karambits. Yeah. Always. They are karambits. Well, pretty much always. There's probably a time when it wasn't. What was that one knife that we saw a lot of? It wasn't Pika. a karambit. No, not the Pika. That's been a while ago. No, this wasn't that. More recently? More recently. The chopper. That, uh, was that exactly a karambit? Mm -hmm. There, we sold a lot of chops. I know she didn't let me give any C this week. That's all right. Go ahead. All right. So, guys, that was it. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell as well. That way you'll be Velcro-esque or Velcroed like yeah. to Atlantic Knife in our contest. That is trademark, and you can't say it, apparently. Also, you can enter into our giveaways. You can become an official AK member by following the link in the description below. You have access to even more knife and gear material, like AK updates or deal announcements. You everything. can also follow us on social media sites, like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram. No. You didn't let me see. <laughs> so what? That Rumble. means I have to give you an AK's vlog. the Instagram? That's not how it works. Mm -hmm. Okay, favorite knife of the week. Go. I know it's going to oh be Oh my difficult. goodness. Well, besides the prototype, that's my favorite because I like those guys. Um, I'm going to go, you know what? I'm going to surprise you. Are you? Yes, I'm going the top Scandi with the Elmax what? blade. Yeah. Really? Yep. Really? I really, really? like the jumping on this and the Elmax I too. steel. I was going to pick that one. Were you really? I was. I like the Hoback. I think it was a surprise of the price for uh, Elmax. It's a, it's a toss-up. I like both of these. Mm -hmm. I would choose one of these. I also like this as my number two. That's my third after one of these. All right. All right. With that, thank goodness that was not only something plastic, a toucan. All right. And not a knife. Uh-huh. I'm C, and this is... Joel. Just Joel. And we are signing off.